you can train your brain to remember better, to learn faster, and to achieve mastery in anything you want in your life. And if you learn faster, you can have an unfair advantage over others. For true mastery, you need to focus more on the output rather than the input. And here's my formula of how you can be a master at anything. The first thing is of course, learn, which is what you already are doing. Now the interesting thing is, when you are learning, you must ensure that the quality of input is really, really high. You must be paying 100% attention. But the problem is when people are learning these days, what do they do? They do multitasking. Because of what? Because of the devices that you're actually holding right now, because of the phones that we have, people do multitasking. Just imagine, when you're reading a book, when you're watching a video, you have your phone nearby. And while you're reading, while you're learning, while you're understanding, and the phone message goes off, there's a notification goes off, what do you do? Of course, you attend to it. When you attend to it, what happened? What you just did? You killed your momentum. You messed up with the quality of input. Now, here's the thing. Your quality of input determines the quality of retention. How well and how long can you remember information? It also affects the quality of recall. That's the reason why my suggestion is, if you are learning something, at least for the time you're learning, you should be doing not multitasking, but the exact opposite of it, which is single tasking. Do one thing at one time, especially when it comes to learning. Stay away from distractions, pay 100% attention and then you'll be well on your way to mastery. That's the first thing. The second thing is, of course, is reflect. Now, many people are in the rush to learn new things, which is good, but the problem is you, don't, you also need to do reflect. What do you mean by that? After you learn something, pause for a while and ask yourself, hey, what's the takeaway from this thing? And how can I use this information in my life? How can I use this information in my work, in my family? When you pause, when you reflect, when you ask these questions, that's how learning solidifies. Otherwise, it's all just wasted. And after reflect, the next step is implement. And this is where the magic happens. And unfortunately, many people miss out on this thing. What they do is they go on learning new things, they get excited and they feel good, they feel inspired and they go on to learn something new. You just messed up. Now the problem is, if you get into the habit of just learning without implementation, you know what you get? You get illusion of competence. You feel you've learned it. You feel you're competent, but it's not competence at all because you haven't implemented. So my suggestion is, when you are learning something, stop, write down what are the few things I can take action on, schedule it in the calendar and take some action because this is what my, one of my mentors told me. Nishant, a lousy action is better then no action. And of course, the last step is share. The best way to learn something is to teach it. When you learn something, just output it, just share it with other people. When you share things with other people, what you're doing is you're helping your brain to pay more attention. And then you will be on your path to mastery. When you are learning something new, how much time do you spend on learning? And how much time do you spend on reflecting, on implementing, and on sharing? When you do that, you are well on your way to be a master at achieving anything